As of last night, I am now a doctor. And here's the bit of digital paper to prove it. For the last few years, I worked at the Australian National University doing my PhD, and this is what I have to show for it. This bit of digital paper. But really, what does having a PhD actually mean? Well, it means I spent a lot of time at school. I started school in the year 2000, and it's now 2020, so I've spent 20 years going to school to get this bit of digital paper. Now, really speaking, what does this bit of digital paper actually allow me to do? Does it give me any special powers? Well, not, not really. I'm still as uh, smart or stupid, depending on your perspective, as I was yesterday. But what it does do is it allows me to take different pathways in life. If you imagine our lives like a game, then having a PhD opens up different pathways for yourself to go along. For example, the job I'm working at currently as a postdoctoral research fellow at the Space Telescope Science Institute is only possible to do if you have a PhD. So in that sense, it's something worth getting. But really speaking, a PhD doesn't matter too much. All it means is I get a fancy uh, DR in front of my name and get to feel superior to everyone, of course. But really speaking, I am no different as I was before. I still make mistakes. In fact, one of the first messages I sent to my friends who also got their PhDs last night had a mistake in it. So mistakes continue till the very end. Now, there are different types of doctors in the world. The ones you're probably most familiar with are the doctor doctors, the ones that can make you feel better if you go to them with health problems. And I would not at all request me to give you health advice. The only case where you'd want me to give you health advice if, is if you were a, a dying star. But even then, I'm not sure you'd want my advice because it would simply be hurry up and die faster. I want to study your guts to see what made you blow up. And that's not really too helpful. On the topic of doctors, there's been some debate in the media recently as to who deserves to be called a doctor. Perhaps some have suggested that doctors like myself now don't deserve to hold the title and that it should be reserved for the medical doctors. That's an interesting argument and perhaps it finds its basis in history. So if we look at history, we'll actually find the opposite. In the 1300s, the first title of a doctor of philosophy was awarded to an academic scholar, not a medical scholar. So in the first instance, academic doctors were the first doctors around. It wasn't until around about the 1600s that the first medical doctors started appearing. So from a historical argument, you could say that perhaps people like myself, academic doctors, only deserve to have the doctor title. But really speaking, that argument is completely rubbish. It's extremely pointless. It serves no purpose. Everyone who has the title of doctor has worked extremely hard to get that title, and they don't deserve to have it stripped away from them because of how other people perceive their achievement. Pretty much in every case, they've worked almost their entire life to get that title. In my case, 20 years I've spent working to get this title, and others have probably spent longer. These things aren't extremely easy to come by, so they take some effort. So anyway, that's a new doctor weighing in on the argument of who should be called a doctor. I may be a little bit biased, but I think this is a pretty non-argument that we shouldn't really pay much attention to. So while we're just rambling about different things, it might be interesting to talk about some ideas that I've been having. One idea is to do some science streams where um, I just stream the work that I've been doing because there are some problems which perhaps don't require much thinking and just kind of doing. And I want to see if it would be interesting for people to drop by and see the process of how an astronomer works and ask questions, of course, along the way. So if you're interested in seeing a science stream in the future, um, let me know in the comments and we can see uh, when that could happen. But anyway, from this new doctor to you, 
thank you very much for watching, and this has been a pretty uh, strange and different video to usual, but I thought I might as well make it while I have the opportunity. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.